Hello, China. My name is Marty St. James. I'm from the UK and I'm a British artist. And today I'm going to show you how I make drawings. That's what I'm going to do. Okay? She she. Good. Okay, so here we are on the Yellow Mountain. And uh, we're in amongst these wonderful mountains in China, which are, which you could, if you wanted to as an artist, you could uh, photograph, or you could video, or you could draw. Today we're going to draw, uh, and we're going to think about drawing in, in two different ways, really, uh, as such. But we'll come to that in a minute. First of all, what I've got is I've got a camera, which I've taken photographs of the Yellow Mountains, with a big long zoom lens and I've got a sketchbook because I've done sketches uh, and notes about the mountains and I've got an array of materials that I use to make the drawings and certain types of paper as well. Paper that will absorb water or will absorb oil as well. Now you could make a drawing of the yellow mountain which is quite literal uh, as such. Uh, I tend not to. Uh, I tend to sort of think about it in a lot of different ways because the yellow mountains are not quite yellow and they're pretty scary because you could fall down them. So you could make a drawing which is pretty scary drawing, black and the feeling of falling down from the top of the mountain because these mountains are very, very high as such. Or you could also make a type of drawing which, um, uh, which I've done which really thinks about the relationship between the spaces between the mountains and the mountains in the distance which occur, which gives you this sort of shape which is a very female shape rather than male shape because what it is, you're looking at negative space in a sense rather than positive space. So you could make a drawing that looks like that which is quite a figurative type of drawing. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a drawing which is based on my ideas to do with circles. Now circles are interesting to me because they're about energy. So we're going to think about the yellow mountains in a different type of way. Paper, and what I've done is I've drawn a circle on the paper with a um, hard pencil. I've got a selection of pencils here which are hard and soft pencils as such. So that's the that's the small drawing we're going to work on in terms of a circle as such. And what I'm going to do to start with is um, I'm going to think about the yellow mountain in terms of a particular shape which I've noticed. And this particular shape is this shape here. And I've drawn that shape down which is literally the edge of a cliff. And I'm going to fold this paper over. And what I've done is I've, I'm going to trace this through on this piece of paper like this very carefully all the way down to the bottom of the cliff and then what happens at the bottom of the cliff there's a piece of rock sticking up there this is enormous this is a tiny drawing but the rock is enormous what that does is it gives us the cliff on that side and if I follow the line back up on, it's a bit hard, that softer pencil. If I follow that line back up, like this, and what I get is I get a, the opposite. So I've got both, I've got the mountain now on both sides as such. Okay. So I've got a little, little, what I call a little stencil there. What I like to do is just mark the top of the drawing top, so I know where the top of the drawing is. I put the paper on, like this. Get it off there. And with a harder pencil, I'm going to trace that onto there. So it's literally like a, a type of tracing onto the drawing. Just where it comes off, I'm just going to give it a little flick because that's what I like to do. Give it a little flick. It goes all the way up there. Just a bit there. Go back up. 
another flick. When I take that off there, we're left with that. We can follow that round again. That gives us the mark we want on the paper. And on the other side as well. So it's symmetrical, which means it's more or less the same both sides. More or less, not definitely. Okay, so that's our first drawing on there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a spin to there, and we're going to carry on that way. You can cut for a minute now then, because what I'll do is I'll do... A few. I told you it's like a cookery program. Hard oh, work being an artist. Be very patient. One more to do like this and then we can start again. Is it? Always make sure you keep the pencils nice and sharp. But when you've got them sharp, what I like to do is just click the end off the pencil like that. That way it doesn't cut the paper. If it's too sharp, it'll cut the paper. Okay, so that's that. So we've got four elements there of the yellow mountain in place. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to think about that shape in a different way. But first, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess where the middle of the circle is. And how I do that is I put a dot there, and then I realize it's wrong. So I put another dot where it's right, which is there. And then I rub that dot out. And now what I need, which I haven't got, is I need a little, a little circle. So I'll use this. Ah, perfect. Thank you. Is it clean? Excellent. That's a big circle, which is quite nice. Let me have a think. Let's have a think. 
think a minute. Okay, so it's going to be that side. Okay. So you've got to guess where the middle of the circle is. You can measure it, but for the purposes of this, I, won't, I usually measure it, but not today. And then with a, again, with a, a fairly hard, hard pencil, you find a little circle in the middle. that down a bit because we don't want to see too much of that. It's only a guide the little circle in the middle is. And what we're going to do now is going to work with a very hard pencil and I'm just going to look at that shape again and I'm going to say hello to it like this. Keep spinning with the circle. When I get to there, I know where the top is, so I always know how many I've got. It's very easy to get distracted by all the lines. You mustn't look too close, it's a bit like looking down a ravine or a, between two mountains, you get scared if you're not careful, so you, you mustn't look too close. And it's the same with the drawing, you mustn't look too close at the drawing. Otherwise what happens is the energy goes in the wrong direction. So, what we've got there is we've got the beginning of the middle of the drawing. I'm going to change pencils now to a slightly harder pencil, which isn't there, it's here, 2B, or not to be. And once again I'm just going to snap the end off the pencil so it works better that way. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in the middle again slightly, just to one side, and I'm just going to go the other route. Not sharp enough, so sharpen the pencil a bit. And work my way right back, back the way round again. It's a nice feeling because what happens is you get into it, you get the energy of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, an even softer pencil now, it's a 4B pencil which is very soft, and I'm going to work around the outer edge of the circle in a slightly more flamboyant way. This is the bit where you get excited a bit. A drawing can be excited, which I think it is. You start to build the drawing up now. It's a bit like sex. You work with it until it satisfies you and satisfies the drawing. You need a nice smooth surface to move on, otherwise the drawing won't flow. So, that's the, that's the middle part of the drawing as such. We can cut there for a sec. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's the, the middle part I think sort of feels right. Now, what I like about that is the fact that the energy is there. So the, the drawings are about energy. That's what they're about, because these mountains are about energy. 
They're about gravity, you fall. They're about the sense of being. They're about phenomenology. They're about consciousness. They're about wonderful things, spiritual and poetical things, but they're also about life and death because they're very dangerous but very beautiful. So they remind us that we stick to a planet, to a globe, which is why these drawings are circular in that way. This is reminding us of where we are on the planet Earth, spinning through the universe. So, so here we go again, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to work at the bottom of the drawing, on the outside of the circle, the top's there, and I'm going to start just to one side here, and I'm going to go right across the drawing as such. Which has a certain danger because you can get a bit carried away if you're not careful. And I hope this drawing is staying in the middle for us. Now what's happening is because it's a soft pencil, it's getting blunt very quickly, so we need to make sure we keep the pencil sharp. Snap the end off, and off we go again. all the way around until somebody said to me, how do you know when the drawing's finished? Well, the drawing tells me when it's finished. I don't tell it when it's finished as such. It's finished when it's finished. And when it's not finished, it tells you I'm not finished. So it's a about the idea of, that's upside down, which is good. We mustn't lose our place in the world, on the drawing, in the circle. So. Getting close there. <laughs> Typical. Okay. Let's cut there for a minute. Yep. Okay, so we need it we needed we need it really was it sort of in the middle? Was it in the middle? It was okay. So sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll just put one more there because I think that don't look right there. Going bonkers, but in that sense. So this part's nearly, nearly done. And what's happening is the, the drawing is building its own momentum in the middle. Okay, so we're done there. We're not going to do any more because it, it's not asking for any more. 
So we, we, we stop at that point there with the drawing as such. That's where we are. Take it off a bit. So, okay, so this is, this is Yellow Mountain, isn't it? Yes, this is Yellow Mountain. So what we're, we're trying to do is, is locate the energy of the Yellow Mountain and our relationship with it. So what we need is yellow. So I've got some uh, concentrated uh, colour here, uh, which uh, we're going to use. And to put the, the colour on, we're going to use a very thick um, watercolour brush, which is nice and thick, with nice fine hairs as such. But um, I'm going to put it on in a particular type of way. I'm going to squirt it on. I've got a squirter here, and I'm going to squirt the, the yellow onto the drawing. There it goes. It's concentrated yellow, so you've got to be careful because it's pretty powerful stuff. It's a powerful color yellow, as it should be. And we literally just spread that across the drawing carefully. Now the difficult bit then is actually then talking to the circle. That's difficult because you have to locate the edge of the circle, which is not always easy. It doesn't matter. I don't mind if, it, if there's a small mistake. It's not the end of the world and nature is full of small mistakes as we are, so it doesn't matter. But this yellow is very, very concentrated, so it's very strong. Once it's on the paper, you can't get it off. You can't rub it off or whatever. You need a big brush because you've got to be a bit brave about it. You can't back off it. Okay, so that's done. So there's the yellow of the yellow mountain. So that's done. That drawing's done. That's finished. The idea is energy in the middle of the drawing. The drawing is about energy. That's what all the work's about and about centeredness, which is what we need to be and where we are on planet Earth. Uh, as such. So that's, that's a finished drawing. So, as I was saying, we've got a series of pencils here. I haven't got the whole range here, but I'm going to show you a couple. This one actually is a H pencil. And what a H pencil does is it gives you a rather grey uh, mid-tone type of line. Hard, thick, like concrete. Very difficult to... They go down very slowly because they're so hard. So a lot of, not a lot of pencil goes onto the page. This one is a, a um, HB, which is a little bit softer. And as you can see, it's slightly darker because more of the lead goes onto the paper. I don't really like the hard pencils that much, but they are very, very useful to use. This is a 2B. Now, in the B area, that means it's softer. So this will be softer again, and again, you get a darker line. But they, they wear down fairly quickly. This one jumps up by four places because this is a 6B uh, as such, and you'll see that this one really does the business. It's very dark, but the trouble is you put a lot of lead onto the paper and the pencil wears down very quickly. And this one I've just picked up in a hotel, which I just like. I just like the colour of it. I love the smell of pencils as well. They smell beautiful. It's the wood, of course. But this one... It's probably around about a 2B as such as well. And finally, you can get uh, these type of pencils, which are good, um, which are you know, retractable pencils. And they're nice because they, um, they go in and out and they uh, are quite fine. Actually, just to finish with, I just noticed that in my kit here, I've got two other pencils, which is extraordinary for me. One is a 7B which is super soft, but breaks easily when you try to do it. I'll show you a 7B. This is going to be a really dark, nice, light black line. And this one, God, you are lucky customers today. This one is an 8B. This is very black, 
and as you can see comes out particularly black. So you get the gradation from the very light grey right the way to the, the black. So this is a drawing without colour. I don't always use colour in the drawings as such because sometimes it's nice to hold the colour back and it gives you a very definite grey, black and white feeling rather than with the colour and it hits the spot in a rather different way as such. Okay, so that's the end of the drawing program today with Marty St. James from UK, England. Bye-bye, China. <laughs>